The bosses of the Artorius DLC are almost entirely done with. We have one remaining. And unfortunately, that one is the hardest boss in the game. So here's the deal. We're going back to OG Logus. Gonna give him the good stuff. Do I bother giving him the night shield? I mean, we ain't gonna block shit on Manus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the route. Um, 60,000 souls seems like an awful lot to potentially waste. No, you know what? I'm gonna stick to my guns. 75 is a pretty solid level. It's probably already over leveled for everything other than potentially Manus. I do have to figure out how to get into his boss arena, though. The Royal Wood. I'm very excited about the Calamite uh, win. That boss was a lot harder than I thought. Man, even with how fast this thing moves, it takes so long for it to get up to us. I'd love to actually look outside of the level bound to see just how far that thing is cruising. All right, so my following the lights here. I thought we did this and it just led me to an item, but did not in fact start the fight. We got another passage down. This is where I was before, and I just threw myself to my death and nothing came of it. Ow. Yeah, so this is no good. Please, guys. Hmm. Alright, prism stone. Is this maybe a go up to get down? No, this just wants me to see more bad dudes. It's a bunch more humanities. You all prism stone? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is starting to look familiar. There's the fog door. <laughs> the zone of violence? Oh, oh, the humanities. Oh, almost fell to my death. Traverse the white light. Okay, so that run back's not that horrible. Oh, you think, did you think he was done grabbing you? He wasn't done. Oh, just looming. Looming in the distance. What an awesome character design. Okay. So now we're going to die a million times while I try to figure this out. Monkey paw. Got it. Spinning monkey paw. Over slam. Just name them all as we go. Oh, that's the big combo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which I lived through. So that's a good sign. have hurt him. 
He can bleed. I actually, I don't think he can bleed. I don't think we'll be get, inflicting any bleed status effects. Oh shit, with the long reach paw. I don't appreciate that, sir. Got the wombo. Oof. Oof, that feels bad. And then he can attack right off of it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's one of the things that makes it dangerous because I'm going to instinctually, I'm going to want to come up and heal. And I shouldn't. Because he can punish it. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the magic. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, so wait. magic oh we got it i'm a dummy hold up don't have to worry about poison we do need the pendant do i leave hum no i'm not gonna leave humanity on the toolbar i want to just be able to switch between those two in real time okay might want magic suit on so um the pendant that we got if you guys remember we we got this pendant um one of the ancient treasures i'm sorry silver pendant engraved with the crest of artorius one of the ancient treasures of an orlando presented to artorius for facing the abyss effectively deflects the dark of the abyss especially in its magic forms it gives us like a barrier I totally forgot about it. I watched uh, I watched my good buddy uh, Gandafarian did this fight not too long ago on his Drunk Souls playthrough. He has played Dark Souls many a time and played through it as like a drinking game. Um, and I forgot all about the pendant. All right, so the run back. I just have to follow the prism stones. I think there's only one actual enemy to fight on the way, too. There's the one mage. I should farm a shitload of humanity. Where's my first prism stone? There we go. Did Artorius leave these prism stones? I wonder what like the, uh, I wonder what the canonical explanation is for having them available for us as a guideposts. We did get him halfway, which felt really good. Um, the big thing is he does that big like four piece combo and we have enough vitality to tank through it, um, which is a big deal. Because I think in most people's playthroughs, that winds up becoming kind of an insta wipe, um, which partially is, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't want to do too much more leveling, because like, you should have to pay for getting caught by that combo from Manus. Um, but I'm I'm totally fine with it not being like a one and done. Dodge into him seems effective, but not foolproof. Oh boy. Oh, don't get caught. All right, that didn't do as much damage as I thought given the animation for it. Yeah, see, like I'm getting caught with it there. The dive in. This time it'll kill me, I think. No, shockingly. That will though. That'll be enough to do it. Okay. His follow up from that is really dangerous because I have to get away enough to heal. 
but I don't want to like completely disengage because then I'm going to take hits on the way in. Yeah, the big, the big combo <laughs> as if that wasn't devastating enough, um, does not have like a wind down animation that lets you kind of regroup. Um, you, you basically, if you take that combo, if it doesn't kill you outright, you have to then dodge whatever follow up he hits you with or else that'll finish the job, essentially. He's a beast. I mean, he's he's an absolute, he's a, he's a savage. I think you can trigger this so that you call it back up when, I don't know. I think we just did, actually. You like run off it backwards so that you trip the button again as you're leaving and then I don't have to wait for it. I feel like I'm just going to get used to not waiting for it and then I'm just going to run and jump to my death. Which might be a nice change of pace from Manus just bodying me, so. Alright. Can't get discouraged. That's what, two tries? That's not so bad. I wonder how much of this corner we can cut before we take fall damage. About that much. I wish if you hit the fall gate in a jump, you could just skip the animation. That would be very satisfying. like not even paying attention to me what an idiot i take it back that slinky arm shit is real unfair woof The getting him to stage two on my first try, I, that's gotta be like hard coded so that they're like, oh, you thought you had a chance. This whole boss is like a straight up psych you thought meme. It's all right, we got an hour left in the stream. I'll get him. I'll get him. And look, our elevator's waiting for us. I was facing the wrong direction. There we go. All right. So it's down, up, down. There is an insane cheese method to killing Manus that I think is absolutely hysterical. The the boss arena is below us right now. Like Manus is spawned in and waiting for the fight to start just from like a game architecture standpoint. Um, and you can see him. I don't know where it is you can see him, but you can like just, oh, hello. Some twin humanities for my trouble. You can like just make him out um, in the distance. Uh, and you, you can actually kill him with arrows. <laughs> like he's already, he's in and he's spawned. So you can just shoot arrows till he's dead. Which I think is hysterical. Yeah, let's see if, I don't want to get caught by the humanities, but. I don't know, I think it's further up that you got to be to see him. All right, 
same basic start. He hits me with the back punch there if I stay on his flank too long. So I can't abuse it. He's gonna do it again. Okay. All right, we have to dodge the follow-up or else I'm dead. That's all right. We were able to prolong the fight, so I'll take it. Oh, I whiffed through his legs, that feels bad. I don't know that we've seen that uppercut yet. Oh, I'm in a wall. Shit. The one where he does the overhand slam, his hand, like that one there, his hand like sticks for a minute. So that one is like very punishable. Let's see if I can like bait that. Nope, that won't be it. He did so much more damage with it because he caught me mid-roll that time. Shit. Okay. Every time we fight, the thesis gets stronger. We told, we told Hawkeye Goff that we were going to persevere to the end. I didn't just mean Calamite. I really wish that they had plunked a bonfire down right here. Rather than running through. I mean, well, hey, what am I talking about? That's just ridiculous laziness. Like, I can survive running a little bit. Doing okay, Logus? Been through a lot this stream, bud. Like, yes, the run back is a tad longer than I really wish it was, but one, I only wish that because we're doing it over and over. And two, the run back only has a single enemy I have to deal with. Like, it's not a bad. It's not a bad run back. I wish it didn't include this, if I'm honest. Yeah, they hit me with all the colored lights. You know, the prism stones, the theory that I had earlier about maybe they were left by Artorius from his attempt to fight Manus. Um, yes, I still hold that that's probably true, but also... I think that it was prism stones that Artorius used to guide the way so that you'd have something fun and festive to see every time you died and had to run back. Artorius just wants, he's looking out for us. Right into it that time. Ooh, that one clipped me and I really didn't think it would. Same with that, if I'm honest. I don't know about this, Manus. You seem to be telling stories. You're telling a falsehood over here. The big swipe, I can't, like, I can't support it from a gameplay design standpoint. Double set. I didn't dodge that. I think I was just outranging it. So I haven't solved the puzzle on that. The wraparound punch, though. I mean, why am I just trying to tank him? Like, he's he's going to absolutely scorch me if I do that. I love how you can get far enough away that he fades away other than his eyes. I got to dodge harder left on that. Shoulder tackle. That's new. I haven't seen that. Too early. That one he rears up first. Oh, that time I dodged through the big swipe. All right, we're getting to about halfway. I gotta start worrying about magic as well. Just 
fades into the distance. Oh, he dodged that? What a son of a bitch. Alright. He can't kill me with all of his attacks, but there are follow-up. That was the, that was the phase switch. He got me. Man, that is tricky to switch to that. Like I'm low health. He's hit me with the wombo. Every instinct that I have developed from playing Dark Souls is to try and get an Estus Flask off. And it's actually not what I need to be doing. That's like, that's pretty rough. Is it always queued at the same time? No, it's just that those attacks enter his like, um, his AI sequence. Like they can, from the point at which he hits his second phase, they can start being in his attack repertoire. Um, cause I don't even think he'll use the same attack. He, he's got more than one magic attack and he doesn't always use them in the same order, the same frequency. There is, uh, and I don't, I don't want to make this sound as though I'm trying to make excuses for myself. There is a certain amount of Dark Souls bosses that becomes a little bit RNG and not in the sense that like these fights are very well balanced and designed very specifically around mechanics um, that are like unique to each boss fight. Like they take the fight with each boss into consideration almost the way a dungeon master in D&D would like design an encounter, but they are still enemies fighting with a limited AI logic set. And if they give you the easy stuff more times than the hard stuff, you can kind of spam through it. I'm gonna say, if you know it's coming, don't engage and just wait. Yeah, I, I probably could back out if I think I'm getting to the second phase. The problem is right now, I'm still just not comfortable enough with knowing when that's gonna happen. Oh, I can't believe that didn't hit him. Wombo engaged. Here lies Logus. See, like, I can dodge into him on the big swipe, but I have to get in pretty tight as the swipe is occurring, or else I don't actually get in. I just, like, dodge into the swipe. Take a sip. The music for his fight is awesome. Oh, shit. Man, you wombo in there ain't no one home, Manus. You done did a vacant wombo. Ooh, all right. The stompy poo, huh? I'm up against the wall again. That sucks that I can't, like... His stomp attack covers more than the distance of a roll. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of what I'm talking about with RNG, though. Like, I hadn't really seen that stomp attack at all, and then we started seeing it a bunch in this fight. That's fine. That's a good trade for a double Estus. I got, I really wish I could get two swings on that. That's the delayed one. All right, we're outranging him on that. That's fine. All right, come on, ugly. I'm, I'm just like, I make a good entry, so I like, I, I'm just like, okay, we made our entry, I have to punish. But then I'm like, ugh, stuck against a wall. 
That's unfortunate. But then after I make the entry, like if the condition changes, if he's followed up with another attack I wasn't expecting, or if I dove into a combo, I don't then adjust to it. I think I just need to see more reps. I don't know how many people... I'd be interested to see what people's normal number of deaths on Manus is. I can tell you I'm feeling really dumb for throwing away those 60,000 souls. Could have at least put one more point in endurance. Honestly, no, probably Vit at this point. My endurance is in a pretty good spot. I can do like a four swing two hand combo. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that wasn't as much of a disaster as I thought it was going to be. Plenty of time left. And you know what? If I don't get him tonight, like, I wanted it to kind of be a one and done stream to just be able to crank through the rest of the DLC. If we don't get it, we don't get it. I'm not going to sweat it. Like, Tuesday night, we can still fight Manus. I'll just take this guy into the fight with me. Maybe that'll help. Bye, friend. It'll be interesting. I can't imagine his body's going to be in the boss arena. I don't even know if I'll have time to look and see if it is, but if it was, it'd be funny. Oh, that's where you can see him from. It was right here. There he is. Just arrow him to death. Pelvic thrust? What the hell is that? So there's the stomp, which we're seeing a lot of all of a sudden. Wombo? And it's gonna kill me this time. He must have got it as a counterattack. That's crazy. I'm wondering if it's time to trade away our quick roll for more physical damage. Jukebox with the freaking raid party of six. Welcome in everybody. We are here making a run against Manus, father of the abyss and trying to put a bow on the Artorias DLC. Welcome in to all the raiders. Hope you guys had a good stream. Let me, uh, we'll have time for this. I might break Dark Souls, but that's fine. Shout out to Lord Jukesbox in the chat. Yo, ooh, you were playing some Bloodborne. Very nice. We were just talking about how you can kind of see a little bit of what Miyazaki would then kind of channel for all of his Lovecraftian horrors in the uh, twisted citizens of Ulusil Township. They got those like gross bulbous HP Lovecraft heads like this dude that would uh, fit right in in Bloodborne. So I think there's a lot of that Bloodborne character design in the Artorias DLC. Had to give some love and support to you, my dude. You made a ton of progress since I last watched. We've been cooking. We did pretty well. Uh, we did pretty well for the last half. A, a lot of it, if I'm honest, <laughs> is we are pretty overleveled at this point. <laughs> but we're cooking. I appreciate it, though. What uh, what part of Bloodborne were you at? You're loving it? Dude, I, I think it's probably FromSoft's best game. I absolutely adore it. And welcome in to your community as well. For any of you guys who are not familiar with me, my name is Chris. And I'm a variety streamer who is trying to best his backlog, which is an absurdly large, like, thousand game backlog. So it's going to be a bit. Don't stand in the punch. All right. 
get a drink. Wandering Pilgrim, thank you for the follow. Is it short for Wandering Pilgrim? Just abbreviated out. I almost said Windrig. Get punched by Manus, get staffed by Manus. Yo, he goes so hard. Oh, the big paw. Well, welcome in, Wandering Pilgrim. I'm glad you wandered in with the raid. Pilgrim? I like that. I might accidentally a couple times say it in a John Wayne voice. Just finished Shadows and they were paying currently on Rom. Rom, the vacuous spider. Rom is such a cool looking boss. I love the arena for Rom's fight too. It's got a lot of the same energy as Four Kings from Dark Souls, um, but obviously like not the dark background. It's like a, it's an empty white background. And shadows do suck. <laughs> shadows might be one of the hardest bosses in that freaking game. I love that weird FromSoft tradition of like, sometimes the hard boss isn't the big scary monster. It's just some dude who's got a real sharp weapon. Gotta head out, had to end the stream early. Ooh, tornado warning. Stay, stay safe, man. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, and I will definitely come back in and check out some more Bloodborne. I appreciate it, buddy. All right. I'd love, I don't know if it's even possible if someone could rip some of the AI from the humanoid bosses in Dark Souls and like put them in an arena fight against each other. Yeah, dude, absolutely. I don't, I don't uh, know. I don't think I'm in your discord um, or if you have a discord, uh, but post something and let everyone know when the storm passes. That's scary stuff. Um, it'd be great if like one of the battle simulator games was able to make it so that you could have like Shadows of Yarnum uh, fight the what's the one in Dark Souls 3 the Watchers of Farron's Keep make them duke it out that'd be rad <laughs> alright Dodge the opener. Yeah, so the jump, I think I can got, I can dodge through it maybe if I go on a delay. He like jumps, and if you dodge with the jump, he's gonna get you. I'm gonna die here. It's all right, I gained intel. So for Pilgrim or any of the other raiders that came in, are you guys also big players of the Soulsborne franchise games? I love hearing other people's perspectives on them, like what they like about them, the bosses they enjoyed and didn't enjoy. You've played them, Pilgrim? Have you played all of them? And if so, which is your favorite? Because I have admittedly, before we started this run of Dark Souls 1 for the stream, I've I've dabbled with a couple of them. Demon Souls way back on console, a uh, little Dark Souls 3 on PC, and then the, the most I had played was Bloodborne, um, which that I still didn't beat. Um, but I am really enjoying Dark Souls 1. Oh, we missed him. This poor dude. Just every run back to Manus, he's got to freaking catch the smoke. I don't like running down this cut across because you like catch air. I always think I'm going to freaking overshoot it and die. For the Souls games, I like the gameplay of three, but the lore of one. Yeah, I, I think that's probably a pretty consensus pick among the community. Um, or at the very least, I don't think that's uncommon. I I really like the lore from one. Two, I don't know much about, if I'm honest. And and part of it's just because since so much of what I've consumed in Soulsborne is like the uh, the community plays, and there's just fewer of them for Dark Souls 2. Um, but I think I think the lore in three gets a bad rap sometimes. 
I get that a little bit of it is like, oh, it's Dark Souls 1 again in a slightly different area, but it's rad. I think I'm better off with two R1s than the two R2s I've been trying to sneak in. The delay dodge did not work there. Those pillars look like penises. They do a little bit. They've got some phallic nature to them. What's going on in Valdius? Oof. Oof. Big oof with the wombo. What do you got for me? Big paw. All right. We dodged it. More of those, please. Yeah, I still didn't dodge it there. I don't know what the secret is with that. Yeah, I, I can definitely agree with you on that. Like, from a continuity standpoint, there are times where three's lore is just broken. So that I absolutely understand. But I think there's some really cool bits and pieces tucked away. Whoop! Looking at chat and got hit with a paw. He's counting on that. That's how Manus designed this boss fight. He's like, Chris will look at the screen like a dummy. All right, we're probably in phase two. Probably some magic here, yeah. for the magic call. Oh, I think I did three again. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, shit. We got to heal, though. All right. I do need to hit him at some point, though. We can't just dodge his magic forever. I thought he was going to hit me with the wraparound punch there. Come on. Take a safety heal. Oh, no, that's not heal. Take a safety heal. Dodge the big paw. Yep. All right, don't force it. Don't force it. Don't force it. What did I just say? All right, back out, back out, back out. He might throw magic here, which means I'm going to have to switch off the Estus. No, no, don't do it to me, Manus. Manus, Manus, we're such good friends, though. Why? All right, that's all right. That's huge progress. I really liked how they did Irithyll overall while being disappointed with Profane Capital. Yeah, I mean, I think that's maybe a complaint to be levied against. And, you know, complaints may be too strong a word. There's definitely kind of an underbaked nature to some of the lore in the Dark Souls games, right? And to your point, like the Profane Capital looks great, has a really cool theme, like visually, the the theme in profane capital is pretty rad um but like there's not enough story to tell you what the hell is going on and why right which is like the opposite of something like uh in dark souls one lost isolith looks pretty dooky like the visual assets just really are not there for lost eyes of isolith but the lore is super super good so i i can definitely see what you're saying That was great progress. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. Switch over on the magic was solid. The R1s for the two hand, I definitely think are helping because I'm getting in two shots where I was only getting one with the R2. So feeling pretty good about that. If I hadn't gotten smacked with that wombo, I think we were only like two, probably two punishes away. So we're getting there. We are getting there.
All right. I don't even know. I gotta go back and check to see how many deaths we were on when we first started Manus. I'd like to know how many I had on him. The pelvic thrust to start, huh? He must have heard. He must have heard chat talking about how his arena looks like a penis, or looks like it's covered in penises. All right, still can't dodge the slam. I dodged it that time, but I was already running away, so. Tough for two here. Okay, worth. Just one on this one because I joined so late. Oh, no, 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 man. It's, that's like Wombo Combo Jr. when he does that. Forehand, backhand, and then the slam. Oh, God, with the thrusts. Get out of here. I gotta heal so bad. I'm so greedy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Game devs having some fun. I mean, they gotta they gotta do it sometime. They're stuck at work for 95 hours a week or something ridiculous. All right, there we go. There we go. Back on track. Jesus, really? I thought I was going to be clear of that. I thought I was going to be able to just keep running and get away from it. Chug. No, no, Manus. Manus. He's mad because we were so close last time. He's like, this fool. What was he thinking? Don't you know? I'm Manus, Abyss Daddy. All right. We should be getting two, um, <laughs> he mad bro, he is mad bro. Wait, I didn't send my elevator up. Um, hopefully, it sounds like we're getting more news about the, uh, the next game from the team at FromSoft, the, uh, Elden Ring there, which I know has been like a pipe dream for everyone forever, but with all the leaks of, uh, in-game footage and trailer stuff, I guess it's just trailer stuff. I don't think any in-game footage is leaked. Um, but it looks like they're getting ready to talk about that at E3. Which is nice. Couple big games at E3 that I think we're going to get some news on. I think Elden Ring's going to finally show some stuff off. Um, more and more reports are saying that it looks like Starfield, the next game from Bethesda, that's going to get showed off. So I am I am here for it see some more stuff on Halo Infinite. That'll be pretty cool. Alright. No thrust this time. Okay. Oh, I dodged it. You do just have to wait. Oh, I love that. Okay. Boy, all right. I was gonna say phase two for sure. Why would you just turn and hit him? You were standing right next to him. You know he's mad. Oh, I'm gonna get wombled out of existence. That's a shame. That started so good. Drink. Drink for everything you're worth, Logus. Drink again. Oh, God damn it. Am I right up against the wall? No, I'm okay. I'm 
Now I'm pretty much up against the wall, though. We gotta relocate. Okay. Okay. Get a magic out of him. Oof. Oof. The big swings. If I can stay pretty well topped off and, like, get an entry, we can stay on Silver Pendant for safety on a magic attack. But I can't, oh, I can't, I mean, I can't take damage like that, though. Oof. Magic here. No, big paw, okay. Now magic. Oh, there we got it off. No, 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 no. Just take a drink. That one was rough. That one was rough. I'm not even gonna try and pretend that one was. That's the only one of the magic attacks in his arsenal that I don't have time to finish that Estus and then get back to the pendant. That's brutal. But I clean dodged all the way through the first phase, which is really, really promising. That feels good. 